welcome back on board the Vagabond, guys. Just a reminder, before we jump into the ever so interesting subject of food, all of our videos are made available ad-free over on our Patreon site. I'll pop the link in the description below if this interests you. A big thanks to all of you for the support. This one is all about food. It's one of the most common questions we get. Um, how do you guys survive? Like, what's in your fridge? What's in your cupboard? It seems so boring to us now, but once you take a step away, you're like, oh yeah, it is a bit of a struggle to get food. We're anchored behind an island. There's no, where would you go to get food? We gotta sail a couple of hours. Yeah, and then we gotta get the tender to go to land, to find a golf cart, to but get to the- But we're gonna explain all of that you killed their arms, you bastard! Um, and also show you guys our shopping list as well as the meal plan that we have for two weeks. I'll discuss with you all a few philosophies I have about food. I think people get a bit tangled up in the whole thing. We're gonna get tangled up in a minute if we don't finish this. Very good. <laughs> Come here, you. Come here. Come here. <laughs> all right, all right, you're done, you're done, you're dressed. All done. <laughs> All right, Lenny, you want to get dressed? We've got two clean boys. I've even washed Lenny's hair. He smells delicious. The kids have a really simple and easy dinner tonight. Eggs, rice and olives. They ate a lot of vegetables at lunch, which I'm happy about, so... <laughs> Mostly they're having an easy dinner because we are about to get very busy in the kitchen. We're having black bean burgers tonight, yeah? And I'm going to show you our meal plan. And I'm also going to share with you um, some little hacks, I guess, for living on a boat throughout the episode. So yes, black bean burgers tonight. <laughs> so behind here is actually where we keep wine and candles <laughs> and eggs, but our meal plan hanging up here. So it's really nice for us to open that up and see what meals we can make if we're running out of ideas. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Dinner time is pretty fun for Riley. We do like get creative and do other things, but mostly we try and stick to this because that is what we've provisioned for. All right, three cans of black beans. Yeah. Three cans of black beans. Three cans of black beans. What is life without chocolate? I'm not too sure, but it wouldn't be too pleasant. I just prefer... Riley's trying to tell us that chocolate isn't even that good. No, I'm not. I'm just I'm just saying that there are better things. So like, I used to go to this restaurant in our springs called Alfredo's, and they used to put schnitzel underneath a spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> and that is clearly the best thing that anyone could ever have. You're a savoury Way man. better. That's not savoury. Savoury is like salty, mate. Right? It's just a wholesome, it's just a whole, it's just like having two meals. Anyway, I just don't, I just find it weird when people love chocolate so much. Like it's just, it's Do not. you love chocolate? It's best. So what I've been doing is actually buying 90% cacao and I've been doing this for years. 90% cacao, because it has less sugar in it, less refined sugar. And then I buy either dates or I recently found these date rolls, which is just dates rolled with coconut on the outside. Combine the two. I'm not kidding, this tastes like caramel or like the sweetest, most amazing chocolate, but without all the sugar. So get into it, folks. I film you. No, you film you. No, you film you. 
Okay, apply Mr. Impossible modestly. William thought. Can you climb up that tree, he asked, pointing to the biggest tree in the wood. So I've had my coffee, now we can start with breakfast this morning. Riley and I, well Riley's fasting, he always fasts till 2pm. I'm trying to fast, which I always fail at doing, so I end up having like some boiled eggs at 11am or something. Um, Ellie has porridge for breakfast and the kids either have porridge or I make them these pancakes, which is just eggs, banana, some oats and maple syrup and they love it. Uh, super healthy, I added sugar. <laughs> Two things, I forgot I add a bit of coconut flour to help firm them up to the pancakes. And the second thing <laughs> is I know we need a new pan. We're still using those horrible non-stick pans. David actually brought them when we left the United States because we'd given away our old pans because we thought we were leaving this boat forever. So yeah, he just bought some cheap non-stick pans and honestly, I just haven't gotten around to doing it. My to-do list is always so large that buying a pan Making a trip to the store uh, isn't high on the list, but it should be for our health. Non-stick pans are bad, we know. Was that you? Let's race stuff. This morning it started off with a very grumpy Darwin. He even threw his bottle lid into the ocean. He's recently started throwing things into the water, which is very scary because you never know what it's going to be. <laughs> and you have to jump in no matter where you are. Luckily, the water's not too bad here. It's quite clear and nice. And there's turtles around. I'll be back in a sec, Lenny. This is gonna take me forever. After taking the kids to a nearby beach to burn off their morning energy, it's time to have lunch, then weigh anchor and take you guys on a typical Bahamian supermarket run. Usually we'd actually fry tofu, but we had a lot of leftovers. We had the burgers from last night and rice from the other day. So what we really love to do is constantly keep one of the fridges full of um, grains, boiled eggs as a snack. We always eat boiled eggs. And we always try and make more at lunch or dinner so that we have enough for the next day. So the dressing is apple cider vinegar, a bit of nut butter. We can only have sunflower butter on this boat because Lenny's allergic and Ellie's actually allergic. And then mustard, minced garlic and maple syrup to sweeten it. And it's so good. So I've just gone through both the fridges and the cupboards and had a look at what we have and what we need and circled what we need. We don't actually need a lot. We're really just doing this trip to the store for you guys to show you what the little markets look like here in the Bahamas. There's always like a big supermarket um, on the main island. And so there, when we get to one of those, we stock up fully with all the grains and canned beans and all that. And it's constantly the fresh stuff that we need to top up with. Lettuce, tomato. So that's what we're mostly getting today. <laughs> Step one to sailing off anchor. Hoist the moan. Then you've got to come in on your anchor. And the important thing is to get the wiggle of the arse of the boat uh, appropriate to the direction that you want to sail afterwards. It's hard to time, 
the, the last little bit. You've just got to, as the arse of the boat falls this way, you've got to come up on the anchor right at the last minute, then it falls away, you come out on the head sail and, and you're off. Hey, Bubba. Hey, have you watched two episodes now of the Magic School Bus? Yeah? Time to finish? Come on, come outside. You wanna help us with the sailing? This side. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta go this way, mate. Ready, we're gonna steer into this annoying wake that this naughty boat left us. time to be sharing athletic greens with you guys. In this episode, that's all about food and nutrition. AG1 is a daily thing for us. We drink it every single morning. It's our daily assurance that we're getting everything that we need in the day, especially when we don't really know what's gonna be in our fridge or cupboards week to week. Not only does it taste delicious, but it is super easy to make. You just mix one scoop with every eight ounces of water. So I've got two in here for my big bottle. I always stick some ice in it too. And it has the Riley tick of approval. This is actually based upon what the latest science indicates is essential for human health. It supports your immunity, your gut health, your digestion, and your energy levels. It's a superfood complex, 75 vitamins and minerals just in this one drink. So easy. Very happy to be supporting Athletic Greens who are trying to do well by us and the planet. Cheers, guys. If you guys would like to give Athletic Greens a go, they're gonna give you a one year free supply of their vitamin D3 and K2, as well as five travel packs for free, all with your first purchase. And it comes in such a beautiful pack you'll be so satisfied when you get it the link's in the description below once we checked the anchor was secure we were just about ready to head into town to find our mini market but couldn't really swim past the growth that had taken over our bottom lately we keep reminding ourselves that we only have a few months until the vagabond is parked up in annapolis and we'll be getting a full makeover she needs to be ready for charter in 2023 it's crazy to think that we'll be on our new trimaran, sailing somewhere in Asia pretty soon, where we'll have to adapt to a totally new way of sourcing food. I'm actually looking forward to that. Oh my god, oh my god. Take two. So we've met some friends already, and they've offered to give us a lift up the hill. Thanks, guys. Hello again. <laughs> Okay, so our friend's house is actually right here, just to the right left. Right here? Yeah, thank you, that's it. Yep. Thank you. There you are. Thank you very much. Hey. What happened? Oh, we got one message, which was a thumbs up, and then we all just bailed from the boat, and the next message was, like explaining the thumbs up, which was it'll be ready soon. So no golf cart for now? No, no golf cart yet. But I think we'll get a car soon. So put the washing on. So this is, that's boat life. So they have two Kubotas and this one has a flat tire. I'm relieved, to be honest. I needed a good excuse to lay down. If only there weren't the sounds of the work going on next door. Yeah. Well, we got stuck with the minivan. <laughs> I just, I don't get it. It's better than the Kubota. Why, because it's got aircon? Yeah. But the, the golf cart's so much fun. There's, seat, there's seat belts for Lenny. Okay, well, I'm glad you're happy with the minivan. Things happy. have worked out. 
Get Riley in a minivan and he instantly snaps into sensible dad mode. It's so embarrassing. Beggars can't be choosers. Thanks, Hannah. We love the minivan. <laughs> One thing about produce in the Bahamas, it's mostly imported and the quality on average is probably not too flash. There's a fair few saggy lettuces and mouldy apples getting around. It's also really hard to find organic foods and that's something I've always set money aside for, paying that little bit extra for organic to minimise the amount of herbicides and pesticides going into our family's bodies. It's pretty hard to just turn a blind eye to all the foods we know are covered in chemicals and just eat it because there's just no other options here. It makes me feel pretty mad that the food system is so messed up. Where'd you get that? Uh, the car. We don't actually keep any meat on board. The only meat we eat on board is the fish we catch. Hogfish here in the Bahamas are our favourite, followed by lobster, but it's not lobster season right now, so they've been spared. Then probably a grouper. We're constantly reminding ourselves, and we'd also like to encourage people to always be aware of food miles. If we're ever far from the ocean and landlocked, we'd rather eat organic chicken every couple of weeks instead of buying fish that's been imported, most likely from China or it's been farmed. The impacts on the environment from farmed fish on average is pretty horrific, as well as the bycatch from huge fishing trawlers. We choose not to support either, but we're certainly not perfect and no one is. We're just trying to do the best we can. Anyway, our favourite way to eat fish is either grilled on the beach, panko and fried in coconut oil, just your standard butter and garlic in the pan accompanied by rice and veggies, smoked fish, and occasionally a fish head soup, which is a lot of effort, but it's one of the best tasting things ever. So as well as keeping prepared food in the fridge, like cut up fruit and veg to encourage us eating it, we also try and clean everything that's not organic as best we can. You can do this so easily by using vinegar, four parts water and one part vinegar. Let it soak for 20 minutes before rinsing off and eating. This also helps your food last longer. The other thing we do is make ghee after David introduced us to it. It's a traditional Indian food and has been enjoyed by the Middle East and Asia for thousands of years. They're currently selling it in health food stores, but it's so expensive and pretty easy to make yourself. It's basically just butter with the water and milk solids removed, meaning there's no milk sugar lactose and the milk protein casein is removed, which is good for people who are sensitive to dairy. Similar nutritional profiles, but we think ghee is just a little bit healthier. You just take normal butter, put it in a pot on low heat for about 20 minutes. You'll start to notice it separating into three different layers. The foam at the top is the milk solids and you can just skim this off the surface with a spoon as it rises to the top. You'll be left with the middle layer, which is the good stuff. You can pour this through a fine strainer if you have one, into a tub and refrigerate. There's a tiny bit more of the gross stuff at the very bottom, which you should also throw away. What's cracking? Pardon me? What's cracking? What's cracking? Yeah. We're not 14, Elena. <laughs> Nothing's cracking. <laughs> We're sailing. It's a very serious matter. Well, I'll tell you what's cracking. We're moving anchorages and Lenny boy's asleep. It's just started raining. There's a squall that's come over. We were expecting this weather. So it's really nice. It's satisfying when you look at the weather and <laughs> then when it happens. Gave us a good blow. It did give us a good blow. We're just sailing with the head sail now. Pretty slowly, but it's nice. Talk about hooga, hey? Quaggy. <laughs> Wungan.